Dear friends, we are going to look into matplotlib format strings today, which can be used to control visual aspects of your 2D plot, such as color, marker style, uh, line style, etc. I have launched a Jupyter notebook by running this command here, and I created a sample notebook by clicking on new button here. And as usual, I will import matplotlib pyplot as plt. This is our main plotting object that will be used to plot any kind of chart. Now, I'm going to use some static data to plot my chart. So here I have x list and y list. x contains number of days, weekdays, uh, Monday to Sunday and Y contains the temperature that was recorded on that particular day. And a simple way to plot a 2D chart is call, to call plt.plot function and supply X and Y as an argument. Now you can control visual properties of this chart by specifying format strings as a third argument. Right now, the line color is blue. Let's say I want to change the color to be green and I want the marker to be plus. So I can specify G plus here. And what that's gonna do is G means green, plus means plus marker, okay? If you look at the documentation for a plot function, you will, uh, see a list of format strings that are supported. So for example, if I want my line style to be dashed line, then I can specify dash dash. So I can just append dash dash here, and that's gonna make it dash dash. You can do dash dot also. Now it doesn't matter in which order you specify uh, this format string, it will work anyway. So if I, for example, if I do dash dash, let's say uh, R for red and star, that is also gonna work. So the order doesn't matter. You can specify dash dash at the end also, and it has the same effect. You can look at all the markers which are supported. So I have like star plus D for diamond. So let's try diamond here. So instead of star, I want to D, do D as a diamond. And you can see the diamond here. See, so you can specify it in variety of ways. Now, if you don't like uh, format strings and if you want to explicitly specify as a keyword argument, then you can achieve the same thing by providing individual arguments. So I'm going to do the same plot but using the keyword argument. So I can say color is equal to red, marker is D, and line style is blank. So you'll see that I can get the same exact plot. So basically specifying these three arguments and this one format string has the same exact effect. For the color, you can also specify hexadecimal string so if you want a color other than red, green, green blue, uh, one of those predefined colors, then you can specify any hexadecimal combination and it should work okay. So you know how RGB color works, right? This is red, this is green, and this is blue. Uh, so you can just try out different combinations here. Now, if you want to control the marker size, then there is a marker size argument that you can use. So let's say I want my marker to be really big. So now you see that it became like really big. Okay, so yeah, use marker size to increase the size of your marker. One more property that plot has is uh, called alpha. So, okay, let me specify alpha here. Alpha will basically control 
the transparency. So the scale of alpha is between zero and one. Uh, one is uh, completely opaque. And if you want to make it, let's say half semi-transparent, then you can say 0 0.5. You can see now it became uh, semi-transparent. So the scale is zero to one. Zero is not visible at all. And 0 0.2 is like hardly visible and so on. So we covered some important properties in plot function. There are many other properties as well, such as animated, clip box, color contain. See, this is the entire list of properties that plot API supports. So just go ahead, play with it. Uh, one thing I want to tell you is you're not going to learn programming just by watching the video by sitting in your sofa. You have to play with it. So I have provided the Jupyter Notebook used in this tutorial in the video description below. I recommend you download it, uh, you play with it, try to use matplotlib in one of your sample projects and that is the best way uh, to become expert at it. All right. That's all I had for this tutorial. Thank you very much. Goodbye.